Good day, everyone. Paul Stone, our CEO, beginning in Scotland. I'm joined today by da David Lack, our director down at Port Melbourne. And we're going to go through the market wrap for uh, February, but we'll probably talk about those first couple of months, eh? And, and yeah. what's, what's happening, because there's a lack of stock. There's not that much well, to talk right. about. Well, that's right. That's right. I mean, we've only had 29 sales in Port Melbourne for the first couple of months. So that's so down. That's incredible. You know, way down on what we would normally expect. Yeah, and I, I ran through the stats this morning, so I did the, the full group stats. So... We didn't sell that many as a group, but seven, still 7,000 buyers through all the opens. There was something like 6,600 or more than that buyers still left. Mm. Demand is extremely Absolutely. high. Um, how are clearance rates going in Port Melbourne? That's probably it, more appropriate. It's interesting because really when, when you bump into to, um, people in the supermarket and say how the market's going, we've really got two markets. Yeah. So the house market's going really well. Um, it's experiencing a clearance rate at auction of 85%. Yeah. But then if you look at, say, the apartments, new, the apartments new, are new, new apartments, apartments. <laughs> it's sort of closer to 50%. It's actually 55%. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so, yes, last weekend there were about 20 auctions. And yeah. While the house You could even say really there's three markets because you, you look at those apartments and there's the... The new ones, which an agent is selling for the for the first time to the real market, but then yes. there's the new ones that have been sold by the developers through the channel partners, and there, the days well, on market, I mean, it just takes. Well, that's long. right, yeah. and uh, I suppose the discrepancy between what's been paid and what's actually being achieved. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's scary stuff. So, um, any standouts for you in this first couple of months? Um, look, I think. Um, in terms of like the established um, part of the market, we had a great sale last week. Mm -hmm. um, we sold a two-bedroom apartment in Beacon Cove. Yep. Um, two-bedroom, two-bathroom, city-facing. Set a new record price. Yep. Of one point one five. City-facing. City-facing. Yep. One car park. Um, highest price ever paid for exactly the same type of product. Eighty thousand less uh, yep. about a year ago. So, yep. you know, there's really good um, demand. A quality, well proportioned product. Um, also, there's been some really good sales of houses again in the Beacon Cove area, yep. sort of in that 1.85 to two million dollar range. So yeah. there's you know huge demand for family homes, well proportioned property. Yeah, and and so we're just about to step into uh, Labor Day, school holidays, and Easter. So that's going to be putting a bit of pressure on on April. Um, so how's April looking for you guys currently? April's looking good. Um, I think most people have said, look, let's just use March as a way of um, getting our properties ready for sale, preparing yeah. it, um, presentation's the key. So, yeah. you know, whilst March is going to be a little bit quieter, um, there are quite a few auctions scheduled for the 19th of March. Yeah. Um, but after that, school holidays and, and Easter. Um, <laughs> April, April, May... Um, will probably be a lot busier with stock. Yeah, yeah. well, well you'd like to think so because there, there, there will need to be catch up at some stage, stock wise. Um, so demand across the board or we, we say more family stuff more if I hear probably, correctly? Probably the larger properties. Yeah. So any any property that's three bedrooms or more yeah. um, is finding at least one buyer and in some cases three, four or five buyers. Yeah. Um, the smaller apartments are still struggling because there's a lot of supply yeah. and um, the banks are tending to tighten up their financing. So, you know, buyers, if they are looking to buy that sort of newer product, they're having to come up with a bit more of a deposit. Yeah, interesting. So, so a lot of homes being renovated in the area at the moment? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you know, one of our markets at the moment, the demand for short-term rental is people actually renovating their homes. So yeah. it's... Um, you know, if you're looking for that larger home, it is very hard to buy. And so, you know, I mean, I'm probably looking at two or three plans a week of people looking to renovate because they cannot find what they need. Yeah. And so they're just staying put. Um, they might take six to 12 months going through planning yeah. and um, and then move out, look for something for, you know, six, seven months yeah. whilst uh, the renovation's happening. Stamp duty probably has a bit to do with that too. If, if you're staying in the area and you're... Well, spend the same amount doing a reno. Well, that's right because I mean we're talking about properties that might be worth you know one point five to two million dollars yep. prior to renovation. So if you're going to go buy something that's above that, well, that's a hundred thousand in stamp duty. That's right. Yeah, that's a nice bathroom and kitchen, mm. or one of them anyway. Yeah. Um, so uh, autumn, we're, we're in autumn now. March is going to be a bit of a hiccup, but 
in general, what's your feeling for, for the autumn market at the moment? Pretty much the same as it was? Pretty much the same. Um, I mean, we're pretty positive. I think that, um, you know, with the apartment market, which has been a struggle for quite a while, I think if you price it right, yeah. it will sell. you just got to be a little bit patient. Yeah. Um, the house market, there's just not enough houses. I mean, yeah. um, you know, there's a, a property being auctioned tomorrow that's sort of entry level, couple bedrooms, central bathroom. Um, I can... You know, think of eight or nine people going to have a go at it, yeah. and it's a very basic house in a basic location, but it will probably crack a million dollars. That's amazing, isn't it? Uh, so, what sort of um, pressure is this having on the rental market? Rental market, um, the the top end, very tight. Yeah, uh, we've had some great results. Um, you know, in that thousand to fourteen hundred a week. Yeah, and there've been a number of properties that we've rented in the last couple of weeks that have not been advertised. So, the demand is there. Working with relocation companies and and um, there has been quite a bit of competition. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, but the apartments, sort of, sort of apartments again, bit of competition. With the, I suppose you've got your A grade apartments, which are say water facing or yeah. facing the city, well proportioned. You know, 15, 16 squares. Yeah. Um, so they're going really well. Yeah. Smaller apartments, um, again, taking a little bit longer. But look, it's probably it's a better a better success story with the rental market for these apartments and probably the sale market. It's a lifestyle position. That's right. Yeah. And, um, you know, the, the properties are finding a tenant a lot quicker than a buyer. And, you know, so we're, we're suggesting to people, look, if, you know, unless you really need to sell, um, there's, there's a tenant out there for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, in general, interest rates stayed on hold. Um, if anything, they, they look like they may come down, but, but who knows from month to month. The economy's... Um, holding up very nicely. Uh, you will have this slight hiccup, but they just mentioned that weekend in March, 19th of March, will will be very active across the It'll be a super Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then you'll sort of flick into to April, I would think, pretty quickly. Yeah. You're probably going fishing anyway. Yeah, going going up uh, going, going up north end yeah. of March <laughs> for the runoff. Yeah. If there is a runoff, they yeah. had, haven't had much rain, so... Uh, yeah, fantastic. But, but in general, what we're seeing in the first two months of the year is it's, um, it looks very similar to the last two months of last year. It's, um, yeah. it's, it's active, demand is high, um, and, and all, of the, um, all of the stars have aligned to push prices up. So it's, um, you, mm. you'll need to be fairly aggressive, and when I say aggressive, um, act um, in, a, in a decisive manner when you find what you want. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, thanks for coming, mate. Thanks no. for watching, everybody. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you next month. Absolutely. Cheers.